Hello everyone, my name is Paula and this is a video all about the things that I've been knitting and crocheting since the last time I saw you all. I go by the name Stitched by Mrs D on Instagram and here on YouTube, but not on Facebook. There is a Stitched by Mrs D on Facebook, but that's not me. I don't know. Who it is? Oh, here comes Ian. Ian is soaking wet, wet. Well, he was soaking wet. I've dried him. He loves the rain. This is Ian. He's my youngest pet. He's um, going to be two in June, and he's he's absolutely beautiful. I've got three cats, and I've got one dog and two guinea pigs. And the guinea pigs are getting old as well. They're four. Um, Pam, I think she's about eleven. And Doug is 15. They're all old. Apart from you, you're the baby, aren't you? I am actually thinking about getting another kitten. In the um, autumn, because uh, he, he's desperate to play, but the other animals are just a bit old and they don't they don't like it. So it'd be, it'd be nice for him to have... Oh! <laughs> Let's see. That was in. It would be nice for him to have a young friend, but I get kittens in the autumn because I like the door to be shut so that they learn about the smells of the house and everything. I got him. Um, what is that on your coat? I got Ian um, at the end of August one year, and he got. He's just so lovely. You got used to the house, didn't you? So we'll see. I won't just get any old Tom, Dick or Harry though. I'll wait and see who is available. And if I don't find the right person, I won't get one. Oh, he's in everything. He's in everything still. He's such a little kid. And the others just want to lay down and like just read the paper and, you know. He's just... He just wants to play all the time, don't you? So I thought it'd be nice for him to have a companion. But we'll see, we'll see. I'd love a kitten. Right. Uh, I can't remember what I've told you about because I've had a lot of false starts. Johnny's been sending me endless text messages and I filmed half of a video of all of my spring bunnies all lined up behind me so I've moved them out of the way now they're over there I think my outfit might be a bit distracting so I've got on a, a spotty dress and of course I got cold I've had to put a jumper over the top this is my Whitmore jumper Meg actually took it from me and then did an art class in it so it's got glue and paint on it um, but I've taken it back it's made I think out of King Cole Cotton Soft I think that's what it's made from and um, I can't remember what I was going to say about it it's a pattern by Amy Loudon yes that's right it's lovely isn't it and I really like here comes Lillian I really like it being black I like dark clothes I like light stuff and bright stuff in the house but I tend to go for dark clothes if you've watched me for a while you'll know that I go through fads especially with food I get obsessed with certain types of food and then I have it so much that I go off it well the fad of the moment is Marks and Spencer's shortbread tea it's like the Yorkshire tea one but I prefer it so that's what I've got today I'm upset I drink it I drink so much of it I'm, I know I'll go off it soon at some point I'll add all sorts of things lemon tea um, crumpets hummus <laughs> I've had all sorts of fads I do it all the time there's always a fad, isn't there, Lillian? So I didn't realise how long it had been since I came and saw you all. I've, oh, I might have, I don't know if I've said this already 
in this video or whether I said it in one of the ones I've abandoned. Here comes Lillian. Um, I can't remember, I didn't realise how long it had been since I came to see you last. And I've had some messages from people to ask me <laughs> if I'm all right. And I am. I've just been really busy. I'm doing the East Anglian Yarn Festival um, the weekend of the 9th and 10th of March. So I've been getting ready for that. I've also had some Advent bunnies, not Advent bunnies, but I call them Spring Countdown bunnies to make. So I've been busy doing those as well, and they're just about there now. So if you have ordered one of these, they will be, be with you within the next couple of weeks. I've just got a few bits of postage, and, not post and packaging, but some packaging bits that I've ordered. And a few last minute touches, and then they will be out of the door. I've got, um, this is for new people old people you'll know this I've got a um, Lillian sit down you're a bit close um, I've got a shop and I it is on Kofi it used to be on Etsy but not anymore because they um, what did they do to me well they took a lot of fees from me for one and they put a hold on my account I can't remember how many days they so they said that they wouldn't get me, give me my money, I think it was with, for 90 days or something like that. I can't remember the exact amount um, until I had marked everything is dispatched and provided tracking and they could track that the order had arrived with the customer. And when you work on pre with pre-orders, you can't, that, you know, that was just no good. So I had to to leave there so my shop is on Kofi now um, I've got one bag in there at the moment which I'll show you at the end and also I've got my next teddy bear club for sale as well which is spring lambs and that is available at the moment but I'll tell you about that a bit later on but there is a link in the description box I'll just do what other people do there's a link in the description box and I'll probably put the link to the East Anglian oh. Yarn <coughs> Told you they're all getting old My dad makes noises like that Lillian um, Yes, I'll put a link to the East Anglian Yarn Festival as well down there so if, if you fancy coming to see me and James because he's going to be my helper for the weekend and all of the other people who are going to have stalls there um, I think there's still some tickets available so you can come and see us that'd be lovely this dog right I've got quite a bit to show you so I better get on haven't I Lillian hey so I've got quite a few things to show oh. you oh. I might send her through and go look out the window. Go and look out the window, Lillian. Go on, that's it. Or get on your chair. Oh yeah, the other distracting thing about my outfit. Look, can you see this dress has got red buttons? I made this dress ages ago. It's called, I think it's called the shirt waist dress by Gertie. I think I got it out of a book. I don't really make clothes anymore because I can't be bothered. But it's got a nice um, full skirt and red buttons. And um, it's got elastic in the back. So it's really nice and comfortable to wear. Anyway, I've got to get on, haven't I? So I'm going to start with these socks that I showed you last time. Well, I've now finished all of my Advent socks. I got the Patisserie Advent from Beehive Yarns this year. Oh, it was lovely. And I got the option for a full skein, four full skeins, and I loved it. I, I think I would be in the market for another full skein advent again this year. Look, can you see all the, all that might just be fluff because I have been sewing this morning. I'm always sewing. So, beautiful. And I have seen, if you like any of these colours that I'm going to show you now, 
I'm pretty sure that they are available in the Beehive Yarns shop. But let's go through them quickly because I've already shown you these. So these ones are the Ivy Cottage socks and these are by Danny from Little Bobbins. It's a lovely pattern. So the colours went from light to darker. So there's that one. Because I've already shown you these. So if you're new, <laughs> if you're new around here, these are talked about in more details in my last video. Oh, I can't remember what these ones are called. I do remember. These, these are called the Moss Eccles Socks. And these are by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. Oh, I love this pattern. I was going to do it again, but I decided not to. I decided to have them all different. But I'll definitely be making another pair of these. Because this is, is such a lovely pattern. And then I did these ones. Which are called the Daisy Socks. Let me show you the pattern properly down the front. You see? Lovely jubbly. And then I started another i think that one of these was half done wasn't it last time i saw you and then i started another pattern in the fourth color and oh i didn't like it i'm not going to tell you what it was because i don't think that's very fair because some people might love it and it might be exactly their sort of thing but it wasn't for me so i act and i'd actually got past the heel and I'm not normally someone to abandon something. I'll just keep going. But, oh, I really... I think they'd have sat in the knitting bag for quite a long time. So I decided to get rid of them. You know, I unraveled it all. I didn't just chuck them in the bin. And I started a new pick. Oh, I just couldn't decide what to do. But in the end, I went for this pattern which is one of my favourite patterns and th this is the Prairie Socks which is another pattern by Kay Jones. I have made so many socks using this pattern and it's just lovely. I don't think I did the toe that matches the Prairie Socks but it's just lovely. Can you see how nice it is? Yes, yeah, so I'm really pleased with these. Um, I might distribute these socks around the different people in the house. I know that Meg has got her eye on this pair. She really likes pink at the moment. She, she goes through, a bit like me, through phases. Although mine is usually with food. Hers is taste. She loves pink i've told the girls that i'm going to decorate their bedroom over easter and um we've got a little whatsapp group and she keeps sending me screenshots of all the things she likes and i've been quite surprised by it actually i didn't think she was a pink person but lizzie wants like neapolitan ice creamy colors but meg just wants pink they share a room but i could make that work it's got two windows. Anyway, that's for another day. So here they all are, all together, and I'm really pleased with them. I've got quite a bit of each of these colours left over as well. And I've nearly finished a blanket. And I don't know whether I should start a pinky purpley blanket. Oh, I don't know, but we'll see. What will be, will be. But that's that lovely pile of socks. All done. What did I have this year on the go over Christmas? Does anyone remember? I had something so I couldn't... I wanted to make one pair of socks a week oh 
Oh, well, I know. I was making that cardigan, wasn't I? I was making a big Christmas cardigan, and that is on my last video as well. That's what I was making. So I couldn't do one pair a week, which is what I wanted to do. But I will this year if I do get another one of these full skein advents. I'll tell you what, the little, the 20 gram a day one, you know, the normal open everyday advent from Beehive Yarns. Oh, that was beautiful as well. Very, very pretty. I've finished another pair of socks. Now these are for James. James, if you don't know, he's my husband. And he loves hand knitted socks. He's even started wearing his older ones to work now. And he works as a builder. So I need to keep the supply running. So these ones are finished now. I think I cast these ones on, on a train on the way to Ely. When me and the girls were doing a little bit of Christmas money shopping. So these ones have done. And this is called, I think this was Cascade Heritage Prints. I can't tell you the colour I'm afraid. But these are done. So he will be very pleased to receive these. He did say to me the other day, you're going to have to make sure I've got some good socks to wear when we go to the yarn festival because people will be looking at them. So he'll probably save these ones. And if I get my, um, get myself in gear, <laughs> is that the word? I don't know. He will have another pair as well because I've started him another pair. I'll show you those now actually. So those are for James. Can't really tell you a lot about them apart from, oh, you're going to be so bored if you've watched this before, but I'm going to say it again. I knit the socks for James on 72 stitches on 2.7, I used 72 stitches and 2.75 millimetre needles. My favourite needles are higher, higher steels. And I just go by eye. I don't count the stitches or anything like that. Um, like the rows. I do tend to just do a 12 row uh, cuff. But as for the rest of it, I don't. I just tend to get him to stick his foot out and then I put it on. And then just do the toe when, when we're ready. But they're done. And they're very, very soft. I like this wool. I've, I've used it before. The Cascade Heritage prints. Um, I made a, a pair for Lizzie. It's lovely. I went to a party on Saturday night and I painted my nails and they're now starting to go like come off. Can you see this is the hand I've been doing a lot of um, making. Right let's go over to James's sock bag. So this is the bag I use for to hold his socks in I don't know why it's got nothing to do with him at all I really like this fabric do you remember that big old load of stuff I got from the auction a couple of Christmases together this piece of fabric was in with the auction stuff look I went on a bus trip and I bought a vanilla latte and spilt it I need to wash it don't I so I've started a new pair of socks for James these are gonna be I don't know what I was gonna say but I'm using this it's um knit picks for lychee and this was sent to me by sent to James by Lou I don't know what the colour is I don't know which is the colour and which is the it says lot number Maybe the colour is 27906. Oh, here comes Lillian again. You can sit on the table because you do like to sit there sometimes, but as long as you don't keep bringing up. Right, let's show you these socks. I haven't done very much yet, as you can see. I've done 12 rows again for the heel, and this is the wool the colours that it's going to be I'm getting it quite so the next bit that's coming is this green I do like stripes do you I find them 
she stuck. I do find them nice to knit with. He'll like this. I actually picked, went down and picked this myself for him. Because I didn't want him to pick something I didn't want to knit, so I just went and picked myself. Well, there was a choice between this one and this one, which was also from Lou. And I think I'm going to do this one next. This is West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply. I like that colour, do you? Reminds me of school and crayons and the 80s. I remember having cushions in my primary school with these sorts of colours and they had all wild animals all over them in the reading area. I'll just show you some I've bought actually because that is in the um, bag as well. So sit down Lillian, sit down. That's it, she wants, I bet you'd like it if I opened the window, wouldn't you? Open the curtains. But I can't. Because I've found, even though it might look dark, it looks worse when the curtains are open. Right, so, I can't, how did I find out about this? I had an email from War Warehouse letting me know that... Uh, Rico Designs had a new variety of sock wool out and it's called Socks Sprinkly Stripey. So I thought, oh, I'll go and have a look at that. And I ended up ordering this one for James. I just love these colours. Again, 1980s. This sort of reminds me, or maybe early 90s. Like Saved by the Bell. Or California Dreams. Did you used to watch that? Surf to the Valley Choose. Do you remember that? Me, I remember I had some friends down my road. All my friends were down my road. I was very lucky. Just about everybody who was in my year at, at primary school lived down my road. It was brilliant. And it was like a cul-de-sac, so everybody kept an eye on each other. It was brilliant. And I used to go round their house after school and watch California Dreams and then would watch Ready Steady Cook. And this reminds me of the colours of the cafe in that programme. But this colour is called Party. No, <laughs> it's not. I'm not. Right, we'll pretend that didn't happen because that might just be something written in a different language. But it's nice, isn't it? Let's see. I'm not... Is that French? I don't know what it is. So maybe I'll just show you the information. And if you like this colour, you can go and get it yourself. <laughs> oh, dreadful. <laughs> oh, you'll be able to tell. You can see what it looks like. Right, Lillian, just pretend that didn't happen. Can't have people thinking I'm uneducated. I'm dreadful at languages. That's not my thing. I didn't take a language when I did my GCSEs. Lizzie loves it, though. She, she seems to think she's got to decide her options soon, and she's thinking about doing a language I just felt mortified about it when I'd have to you know when like the teachers say right now you say that in French oh I'd hate it but if they'd have wanted me to get up on a stage and sing to everybody I'd have done that no trouble isn't it funny right whilst I was down I call it down the end of the house. I've got this little bit where I keep my um, washing machine tumble dryer and I've got a big cupboard which is full of all sorts of crafty bits, mostly the stuff I got from that auction. <laughs> and um, James's sock wool is down there as well. So whilst I was down there picking that nitpick stuff, I come across this and oh, I, I just loved it and I just thought I really want to make just a nice neat little pair of socks so I thought I know 
Meg. So that's what I've done. Oh, and I'm so nearly done. I don't know why I didn't finish this off before I came to see you. Ridiculous. So this is some Peyton's Croy socks and I had two batches, batches of this sent to me by two very, very kind ladies. And I just wanted to make a plain, sweet, nice, neat sock. And I have. So these are going to go to Meg and I'll just finish this and I'll give it to Meg tonight. Both of them. Of course, she's lucky. She's getting two pairs, isn't she? Meg has got little feet. She's petite. She's the petitest person in the house. Lizzie's bigger than me now. She's really tall. She's like me. She has to stand at the uh, the back when you get the all school photo. I always used to have to stand at the back with the boys because I'm quite tall. So this is lovely, isn't it? I don't know if I've got the band. Oh, I have. Let's hope. Right, so this colour is brown rose marl, which I'd say is a very, very good description of the colour, isn't it? Lovely. And all I've got to do on this one is just finish off that toe and that's not going to take me very long I'll do that later when I'm reading my book so these are made with 2.5 millimeter needles and I've used a this is a 64 stitch sock now I get a question quite a lot so I'm going to answer it now I get asked, can you recommend a pattern? I think it's for DPNs, just for a plain sock. And I always say, because I think this is the this is definitely the pattern that I used to learn how to knit socks, is the Movie Marathon Socks by Abby. I want to say Morris. I think that's right. If you look up movie marathon socks, you'll find the ones I mean. And that's um, a sock on DPNs. And I think it might be even be a pattern to knit on, to knit them with three DPNs, which is the way I do. And what I think is the easiest way to knit socks on DPNs. I just think four is just too many and I find it easier. I have tried the other way and I don't like magic loop that's not my thing at all so these are for Meg and they will be going to her tonight because I'm going to finish this off in a little while oh that will be nice won't it another cup of tea finish these off oh look at this lovely bag I made this a while ago it's made with all vintage fabrics I've still got quite a few of these left lovely Lovely and soft. Hmm. Right. Whilst I was shopping for that sock wool, I've been seeing this advertised quite a lot as well by Wool Warehouse. And I've seen a lovely cardigan made from it. But I have bought this wool, but it's not to make a cardigan with. I think I'm going to use it to make a jumper with. But the way it... No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm making a blanket. I'm not making a jumper or a cardigan. I'm going to make a blanket. But I just love the way the colours were. And this, and it was on offer. And I've made a shawl with this kind of wool before. Not this exact brand. It was Cascade. Mm, I can't remember, but it was a cottony based. I think this has got cotton. Yes, yeah. Um, a cotton based double knit I'm trying to just show you what it is and shut up so this is Yarn Smith's Pe Pebble Haze DK Prints and I've, I've been seeing it quite a lot and I thought and then I got an email to tell me that this was on sale so how much was it? six pounds Hang on, why didn't I get free postage for this? Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. You don't want to see me looking at an invoice, do you? So, yeah, it's Yarnsmith's Pebble Haze Prints DK. And it's 150 gram, grams, 435 metres, 67% cotton and 33% acrylic. And they recommend a 4mm needle or hook. I'm going to make a big, well, I'm going to make a crochet blanket out of this. Look how lovely it is. I bought three of them. I don't know how far it will go, but we'll see. 450, look at that. 450 grams. I should get quite a bit out of that, shouldn't I? But I just think it's going to make a really nice granny blanket which I think is very no a nice thing to have on the go I don't know why that looks a different colour the shade I've gone for is SD030 which is peppercomb comb with an E dye lot one <laughs> look do you think that one looks different to that one I'm sure it's just the way it's been twirled up on the thing but what an interesting black they all look different don't they what an interesting blanket this is going to make but as soon as i've finished this other blanket that i'm going to show you in a minute which is very very nearly done as well Ooh, i'm going to start this lillian would you like a blanket made out of this I, I did think about doing a linen stitch one and i might do that but i, I do like a granny blanket you know what i mean a granny treble blanket i just love them i like making them i like looking at them but i think this is just lovely do you there's all sorts of different colors and i'll tell you what i've seen recently they've advertised another sort of one like this and i think it this one might be a hundred percent acrylic and it's called Elvis and it's a lot less you know like this looks sort of stonewashed doesn't it you know like a pair of stonewashed jeans looks like it's had a dip in the bleach doesn't it well the other version of it which has just come out and is called Elvis is a lot more solid but still looks interesting and I think would again make a really nice blanket Just look at that. You see, I like Monet, and these sorts of colours remind me of a, a Monet. These look like the later ones when he got his cataracts. And these look like the sort of earlier ones. You see what I mean? Watercolory. Water lily 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 <laughs> water lily. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. And I've had to hide it up from myself, actually, to stop myself from getting it going. Because I thought, come on, because I know what I'm like. I'll start that and then... Oh. Right, let's see what else we've got. So I've got something else and it's very, very, very nearly finished. And you'll see what I mean. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, Lillian? This is my pixie yarns stripy blanket oh it's lovely i took this round my friend peter's the other day when i went round for a cup of tea with him and i've taken it before and he remembered he said oh is this the blanket that's the seasons and i said yes it is peter so i'm going to go through if you've watched this before you might get fed up but i can't get enough of this and i think that you'll like to see it again so it's made up of four no it's not five packs of minis all 20 grams each by pixie yarn and i've purchased them throughout the year apart from the last two packs because they were sent to me as a present from sophie from pixie yarns which was a lovely lovely surprise and uh it is the seasons so we start with spring what is it is it not spring is it, it's not spring equinox is it i can't remember but it's spring something 
So I'll one, two, three, four, five. So each pack is five minis. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So this is the first one. So that's spring. Now we're going to go into summer, which is one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go into autumn. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go into Christmas. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I was on this section last time I saw you. I think I'd just done one row of the colour above the bright red, which and I did the bright red, red ones on Christmas Day. So you see that brighter red there? That's where I was last time. I no, I just I think I was up to there last time. So I've done the rest since I saw you. So those are the Christmassy colours, and now I'm in the winter ones, which I think might be my favourites. One, two, three, yeah. So that's the winter colours. And all I've got left to do is one more row of this green here. And this colour here. So I've only got, I'm going to count again. One, two, three. I don't know. Yeah, I've got three more rows of colour and I think three more rows of the white, which is, no, I haven't got three more rows of the white, I've got, oh, who cares? This is what I'm using as the in-between rows. Drops Baby Merino Unicolour Superwash Treated Extra Fine Merino Wool. And the colour is... Two, and it is 50 grams 175 meters now I don't know how many I bought of this but somehow I've managed to get the quantity that I need to finish this blanket spot on it's a fluke I don't know how I've done it because all I've got left is this ball here and that there and that's going to be enough to finish it because I'm not going to put a border on it so I don't think it needs it but this is a full length body um, blanket so I'm going to lift it up I'll stand back and I'll demonstrate it to you in all its glory oh I've sewn in all the ends apart from the top ones as well hang on I can't see what I'm doing yeah, I think if I do it like this, that'll be all right. Yeah, I was ever so proud of Peter the other day when I went round and he said, oh, is this the season's blanket? And I said, yes, it is. It's lovely. And if I lay down on the sofa, here I come. It covers up my whole body. It's just so lovely. But it's going to be weird not having this in the background of my making because I've been doing it since I think last March was when I started it and it's going to be done in a couple of nights and then that's it. But it's always been there in the background. You know sometimes just fancy doing a little bit of crochet. That's what this is perfect with. And I've liked the fact that it's come along gradually because I think Advent it can some, sometimes feel not for everybody but when I open a mini over Advent I want to get it done that day because I know that sometimes little bits linger so I've liked the 
the way I've had this gradually throughout the year. So I've just got a little bit more to finish it off. So next time you see it, it will be done. I think I'm going to keep this on my lap. It's so big that I can have it double, double lap. It's double lap or full body, which is just lovely. <laughs> but doesn't it look nice? I still don't know which colour is my favourite. I'll think about it properly and I'll tell you next time. It's lovely. I don't know if Sophie will be doing another club like this this year or whether... Because I think this was instead of her, an advent calendar. I don't know. Well, it started in March, so we'll see. She's going to the East Anglian Yarn Festival, so I might ask her. Right. Lillian, let's talk about the last thing. Right, so the last thing I'm going to show you is something I've, I just want to get done. And I'm going to get it done because I've got a plan now. <sighs> now, what did I do with this? I feel like I took it off the needles, the back, didn't I? Yes, I did. I think I threaded it onto another pair of needles because I needed them for something. Let me check this pattern. So this is the bookish cardigan. It's a lot of um, cables, a lot of moss stitch, a lot of bob bobbles, and I'm doing it on dark wool. You will have seen this before if you've watched me before. I think I've been making it for two years, but very, very sparsely. I'm pretty sure I had to take the needles out of this for something or another. Because these, I'm sure I did. Because I put... Oh, I don't know. But I'll find that out. So, I've done both of the fronts. Oh, so lovely. Every time I look at it, I really like it. Is that the back? No, that's the front. I've done both the fronts. I've done half of the back. But what I've just... Do I like it still? I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. It's lovely, isn't it? I do like it. I do like it. So what I'm going to do... Because the problem I've got with it is it's so dark... And by the time I sit down at night time, the light has gone. I've tried those torch things around my neck. I don't really like it. So I'm going to save the back for lighter days, which are coming. The back isn't as complicated as the front, actually. It probably looks it because it's all you know it's all going all over the place isn't it and crossing over and everything but it's not as bad so what i'm going to do the the sleeves are supposed to be to have this pattern as well i'm going to make the sleeves in fact i might cast well cool i'm going to be doing a lot tonight aren't i'm finishing that blanket finishing sock i'm going to cast on a sleeve with one of these lovely fresh new balls of wool. Lillian, you couldn't get any closer to those daffodils, could you? Cool, you're gonna squash them. And I'm gonna knit them in moss stitch. Some of you lot might call it seed stitch, but it's always been moss stitch to me. Cause I will be able to do moss stitch in the dark. <laughs> well, not the dark, but I'll be able to look at it and not Put, have to put my heart and soul into looking at the pattern not the pattern you know the, the stitches on the on the um, needle and I think once I get them done and get flowing away with the, the, the sleeves I think that I will be able to get them done pretty quick because it is a DK I can't remember what size I'm using, what size I'm making or anything. I might have to watch one of my videos. Maybe I've got it written in this book. Mm, no. Mm, 
Now, all I've marked in here is where I'm up to in the cable pattern. Well, that's not a lot of good, is it? I'll watch one of my old videos. It'll be in there. But I really, really want to get this done. Yeah, it is, it is lovely. And I do like dark clothes. Be nice. Be nice in the summer with a little dress or something like that. Hmm. So watch this space, everybody. What size do I need? Yeah. I have taken this needle out because it's made on 3.75 millimeter needles. Is it that way all along? Yeah. You don't change for the cuffs or anything like that. Oh, lovely jubbly. That's all ready. So the wool I'm using is Starcraft Life DK, which is 75% premium acrylic and 25% wool. And the colour, believe it or not, is navy. Yes, so I'm going to get on with that. I feel quite enthusiastic about that actually. I'll get that blanket done, get the socks done, and then that will be what I'm going to do. Yes, that will be lovely. I made this basket, this bag a while ago for myself. It's a quilted one, it's got birds on it. Oh, Lizzie's been doing some knitting. I'll just show you it quickly. It's so sweet. I made her this bag because she lo she likes to knit on straight needles just like I do and um, I don't think the drawstring bag works very well for straight needles so I've made her this bag here it says Lizzie's knitting on it and um, I'm going to have a few bags this shape on my stall when I go to the East Anglian Yarn Festival so if, if you're a straight needle knitter like Lizzie and me She's dropped a stitch, so we've caught it with this little stitch marker here. But she's knitting a scarf. And she's made it with um, this here. Stylecraft Recreate, which is recycled yarn. I've used this to make a jumper with before, and it's lovely. Um, but she's making a scarf. So these are the colours she's had so far. That is the colour that I used to make my um, jumper, my bunny jumper. Then she's got grey, a mustard colour. Now she's on the teal and then after that she's got this one and I think it's called ink. Yes it is. So these are the colours that she's picked. Maybe if I show it to you in there like that. I'll put a picture of a dog in it for her because she likes dogs. So that's hers. I don't know if she'll come and talk to you about it one day. She might do. But it's lovely. She says, can I do, can you pass me my knitting? <laughs> yes, I can pass you your knitting. But, yeah. Sweet, isn't it? Right, I think that's it. Is it Lillian? I feel like I had loads more than that to show you. Oh, well, 48 minutes is plenty long enough, isn't it? So... I've been working very hard getting all of the stuff ready for the East Anglian Yarn Festival and I think I'm nearly there now. It's so hard to know how much to take. So, I don't know. I've got all sorts of things that are going to be there. So if you come in, come and see me and James on the store. I'll have lots of, um, lots of bags. I've got quite a few teddy bears. Well, not quite a few. I've got a few teddy bears. And they're all ready. They're all in Liberty dresses, all one of a kind. Everything that I'm selling is going to be, there's only one of them. Um, I've got lots of bear bags. I've got lots of the lovely sheepy ones that I made. I've got some lovely Liberty patchwork bags. I've got some really nice Liberty frilly bags, which I like. I've got some... Um, purses and notions pouches and I've made some needle cases as well oh you'll just have to come and have a look and see oh I've got some Tilda Bear bags you know the ones with the bunting in the 
trees. I've got some of those. All sorts. So if you're coming along, come and see us. I'm um I'm a bit worried about it. I didn't get to go last year, did I? Because I caught COVID. And I'm now in, well, from Monday onwards, I'm going to be in quarantine. I'm not going out of the house for two weeks. So I can't um, catch anything. And I've also put on my application form that I sent in that I'm not going to eat any chips because they give me migraines. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be isolated and not eating chips. But I am looking forward to it. But, oh, I don't know. I, I worry about stuff, don't I? You know what I'm like. So I've been doing that and also my advent, but I keep calling them advent bunnies, but they're not. They're spring countdown bunnies. They're nearly done. Um, just a few bits and then they'll be off. I have got my spring teddy bear club. That's in my shop at the moment and it's spring lambs. And this time the theme is going to be bluebells. Oh, they're lovely. That, that big. And they'll pre-order and they'll go out within about four weeks of being ordered because they're going to have jumpers and the jumpers take me a little while to knit. So if you're interested in those, the link is in my shop. <laughs> Stop. The link to my shop is in the description box at the bottom. Um, in case you don't know what my teddy bear club is, it is what it is. It is what it sounds like it is. It's a mystery teddy bear. You don't know what it's going to be wearing or anything like that, but you know this time it's going to be a lamb and the theme is bluebells and they're about that big. All handmade, sewn together with a hand knitted jumper and a very pretty skirt. So if you'd like one of those, the description box. And I've got one bag. Oh dear, she's very cross. Because when... I did an update a couple of weeks ago and um, I was really lucky, everything sold out and then I was wrapping everything up and then I thought, oh, she's still here and I had forgot to list her, oh dear. So this is Anna and she is in my shop at the moment. There's going to be some bags like this on my stall as well at the East Anglian Yarn Festival. She can tell how cross she is with me that I left her out. You know, I've got lots of these going on the stall. Sheep, bears. Is that it? Sheep and bears. And I'm working on a bunny. I want to make bunnies for the spring. So Anna, if you want to give her a home, she's in the shop as well. She's furious with me that I forgot her. I don't know how it happened. I took all the pictures and everything. I must have just saved the list in as a draft. But look, the, whatever colour the, the bow is, or the bow tie, that's what colour the lining is as well. So Anna's got lovely Liberty lining. She's furious with me. Right, but other than that, I don't know what else. I think that's it, actually. I don't think I've got a lot to tell you about. But I've nearly done an hour. That's quite, that's quite long, isn't it? For someone to be talking about knitting. Lillian's cuddled up on the table. She's got her head on the socks using the, using it as um, a pillow. Uh, Doug is all right. He's just getting really old and just wanders about. Pam's all right. Everybody's all right. Oh, he's... <laughs> Speak of the devil. He gets up when he wants the toilet or if he wants food. I'll just get him because there's always ghosts to see Doug. <laughs> I was just talking about you, saying that you're wandering about. And then here he is. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to get over the fence, the wall this year. Because to get to the front of the house, which he did last year, and the year before, and the year before. He's done it every year. He has to climb over a very, very tall wall. I don't know how, exactly how tall it is. I'd say it's about 10 or 12 feet around that. You have a hot water bottle on your feet. This is got cold feet. I don't think he's going to be able to manage it this year. Though, 
You're going to have to have a summer in the garden, aren't you? But that would be okay. He's lovely. I love Doug. Right, so he's up. That means it must be dinner time. So I think I'm going to go and have some dinner as well. It's half term. My mum has got Lizzie today, which is why I've been able to do this video. And I thought if I don't do it today, I probably won't have another chance until after the yarn festival. So I've done it. Right, I'm going to go and put this on YouTube. And I think I'm going to go and make myself a pit of bread. And I think I'm going to put in it some tuna and cheese and put it in the toasting machine. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Right, and I've got to give him his dinner. Do you want your dinner as well, Lillian? It's raining, so she hasn't been out today. But she doesn't like going out in this weather. She just, she won't walk in it. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll be along to see you all again soon.